Everyone takes a knee. Ongoing mark of respect, an ongoing stand against racial discrimination in all of its forms, against discrimination in all of its forms as Manchester United get us started. Toon comes back to Maya Letizia. Letizia wants to commit early, tries to slip that one through, doesn't quite get there. Ladd gets a toe on it. Toon is going to poke that towards Dalton in the penalty area. It needs to be dealt with, hooked away in the end by Bartrip. An early pressure from Manchester United telling. Just what United need, a, a quick start, getting on the front foot and putting under pressure against this uh, Tottenham side who have not won for a long, long time. Alessia Russo finds Toon. Toon with the cross, bounces in front of uh, Corpola, who's back into the side today for Becky Spencer. First of a doubleheader of massive games for Manchester United sides this Sunday. That's a lovely ball down the right-hand side. Baccio with the cross. Chance for Gonzalo. And somehow it's kept off the line. Well, Manchester United have just torn a strip of Spurs down the right-hand side. The cross from Baccio, brilliant. The finishing touch doesn't finish in the back of the net. And he goes... Spurs, and Beth England's in here, and a real opportunity, can Beth England's got a brilliant tackle, what a stop from May Letizia, scrambling backwards, gets a big tackle in on the most dangerous player that Spurs have got, and prevents the goal. As it comes to Turner, Turner being tracked by Blundell, short pass back into the penalty area, Leah Galton with the opportunity, yes. Leah Galton with the goal, and Manchester United lead, latched onto the error, and Leah Colton again for Manchester United. How important has she been? She's given the Reds the lead, and Manchester United open the scoring at the LSV, 1-0. Yeah, Tottenham have never looked very confident when they've been playing out there, and again, Anna Blondell came in, put the pressure on Amy Turner, and Amy Turner got caught in two minds and then scuffed the, uh, the back pass, and Leah Galton was straight onto it. have won this back high up the field again. Toon in the penalty area, gets the cross in, turned away, only comes out as far as Ladd. That squares it to Barisa. Oh. What an effort. Barisa forcing a fine save out of Corpola. It's away for a corner. It's good goalkeeping in the end. Toon trying to work it into the penalty area. Comes back to the corner flag, then does get the cross in. Chance for Turner. Chance for Russo. What a finish. Flicked off the head of Millie Turner, and then a volley corker from Alessia Russo. Well, Leah Galton, Alessia Russo doesn't want you to have that top goal scorer title <laughs> just yet. One for Galton, one for Russo, two for Manchester United. Spurs in trouble. Well, it's uh, as you were in the first half, by the looks of it, United dominating again. Just need to kill this game off with a third goal, I think. Is it coming from this attack from Manchester United? Russo escapes the pressure. Now down the left hand side to Galton. Galton first time into the penalty area, lifts it into the edge of the six yard box. Vicky to Paris! It's three for Manchester United. And just as we said they would want the third to kill the game off, Nikita Paris obliges. Brilliant pass to Galton. Galton's cross finds Paris. Paris lashes home 3 0. Beth England's into the penalty area here, manages to pull it back to the oh edge of the yeah. box too. Chance for one back for Brighton. Good save, Mary Ups. Great second save, Mary Ups. Well, talk about earning your money. Mary Ups has just made herself big with a fine double save to deny Spurs. Full time whistle goes, and Manchester United take all three points away from a crucial game in the WSL title race. They stay top of the WSL table, taken three points out of what could potentially have been quite a sticky game, but instead they've made it look easy against Spurs. Golton, Russo and Nikita Paris on the score sheet. United have beaten Spurs by three goals to nil.